All right, so we've got our beets out of the oven and they've been left to cool. So now that I can handle them, um, you see that um, there's a few fork pokes in here. So that's how I decided that they were done because they were tender and the fork would be able to enter easily. So now we're gonna clean them up and get them chopped for a salad. So for this, to peel the beets, um, it, you'll find them just much easier to handle once they've been cooked. I'm gonna take the top off and a little bit of the bottom. And you'll see that the peel just kind of starts to come off. Um, you know, you could peel it with your hands if it actually comes off that easily. And it's kind of a nice option to have uh, if you have gloves on, that would be nice. That's pretty easy. You see how easily you can push this off. So like letting them cool for a little while is really helpful. Um, to be able to handle them this easily and they've gotten nice and soft to make the peeling process easier and you don't have to worry about it if it's not perfect um, the peel just tends to have a little bit more bitterness to it um, so it just takes a little bit away from the, the nice flavor uh, that roasting does for the beets which brings out a nice earthiness with a touch of sweet to it um, so you can also use a regular vegetable peeler to do this, or it's kind of easy to do a paring knife for some of these rougher, thicker skin spots. Just like that. They don't have to look pretty. They'll taste fine. All right. So now I'm just gonna see how much easier it is to cut these once they've been roasted. And you can do, you know, if you're not planning on eating all of these today, they'll keep nicely in the refrigerator for a few days. Um, you don't want to keep them too long. We we'll just slice them nicely, a bowl like that. See that color of them when they're roasted is really beautiful. But also stained, so it's nice to wear gloves when you're working with them. Just slicing it so just in a nice so you get these nice cubes so now you've got these great roasted beets that you can add to cold salads if you'd like or and you could do a roasted vegetable medley with other vegetables like uh, sweet potatoes white potatoes broccoli onions garlic all would be great additions for a nice side dish um, and so you've got nice, beautiful roasted beets here. You can also just put a little bit of olive oil and a little salt and pepper on them, and they're just a great side dish for, for any meal. So I hope you all enjoy some nice roasted beets.